What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Happy Easter for those that are Christians and let's get right into it. So today I will be showing you which firmware is my personal favorite. So I'm gonna head over to Awesome Flippers right here. This guy makes a lot of cool stuff. He shows a lot of the different things. So here are all the different firmwares. There's a official. So this is just basically like your default firmware. There's Unleashed. So this one just has a ton, a ton of apps. Extreme. This one is probably the most well-known. And basically it just has a ton of apps such as Find My, Momentum, in my personal opinion, the best one. Rogue, Wa Rogue Master. And basically, Rogue Master kind of looks like anime in a way. Dragon Ball, so I'm not sure what that really is, but that's kind of what it looks like. I made a video on that, my previous video. Um, Squatchware. This one, I really liked it until it became abandoned, and it probably won't be worked on. And then there's X Virus, which I've never actually tried. But today we're gonna be going, we're gonna be kind of going over momentum. So this custom firmware is based on the official firmware and includes most of the awesome features from Unleashed. It is a direct combination of the Extreme firmware built by the same and only developers who made this project special. So I'm not sure how true that is, but I believe it. So we are going to hop over to momentum-fw.dev and again all the links will be in the comments below. Then we are going to grab our flipper, plug it in with a data transfer USB-C cable, or just the default one it came with. Connect it. That's the name of my flipper zero. And just wait. So we are going to head over to release. Um, by the time you watch this, it might be a different one, but this is currently the first version since this firmware is brand new. But anyway, we are going to hop right into it. So all you have to do is hit flash. And then in a minute, I'll get back to you guys, because you probably don't want to wait. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it was updated to the latest version of Momentum. So now that we've gotten that installed, we can head over to... What was it called? Oh, yeah, the Flipper app. Duh. Ah, why is my Wi-Fi not working? Hold on, guys, one second. Okay, guys, my Wi-Fi is working again. So... Now we can head over to the Flipper app, but you always have to make sure to close out like a tab that is already using Flipper. So now that that works, it says permission denied. So I'll just have to close it back out and go back in really quick. Okay, so this is the start of Momentum. So long <laughs> thanks for the fish. So I'd set mine up to this format. But without further ado, let's get into some of the cool features. So we are going to head, oops, we're going to head over to apps. And then we are going to start with Bluetooth. BLE, there's BLE spam. So that one is actually pretty cool. If we go to that, there's a new one. B BT settings flood. So all you, if we hit, um, hold down start instead of the display name being random we could change it to like Q. We're just gonna save that. Save. So now that the display name is Q we can hit back and then we can hit start and then I can pull up over here Bluetooth and I hit where is it? more Bluetooth settings whatever works and then I'm not sure why it's not working but basically what should happen is there's just gonna be a whole bunch of cues and this works on every single device that you should have iPhones Androids pretty much anything so now we can go back over to it and we can go back and there's a new one as you might have seen called find my flipper 
that one is pretty interesting. So basically, it turns your flipper into like an air tag. So your flipper zero just is like an air tag, basically. And so, in case you ever lose your flipper, you could just go onto like your Find My app. And there are ways to get this to work. And there are ways to get this to work without an air tag, but most of the time, you will need an actual physical air tag to work. So I might be making another video for that soon. And so now we can head over to, uh, where is it, USB. So if you tap USB, you can see there's kind of new one named mass storage. So you can tap that and we're just going to create a disk image. And so basically what this is, is it kind of acts as like a very, very slow thumb drive. So you could technically use this to hold files. I'm just going to create one that's image size is 128 megabytes. And then I'm just going to hit create image. Error creating image. Uh oh. Uh, that's because it already exists. So I'm just going to name it Q. So this way it'll work. Now I just got to hit save. Oops. Save. And then create image. Now that that works, now I see Q dot image, and I can go back over to um, my Discord. So let me just pull that up. Discord. Okay. So now we can head over to Mr. Extra Random, and we can scroll down to flipper zero links and downloads so right here this is the file that you're gonna wanna download and you're just gonna hit this little down arrow and you can just name it whatever you want and then you hit save so as you can see that's saving then you're gonna head back over to your flipper and you're gonna go to this little notepad thing tap that then you're gonna go to SD card and then you are going to find right here apps and then you're going to go into scripts and then you're going to right click and hit download oh wait nope sorry sorry you're going to if it ever works if this on right click where there's a spot that's not a place and hit upload here so once you got upload here you're going to look for that file mine should oh right here windows xfil gshd.js so we're just going to hit open and now you can see it's right here so now we're going to hop back over to our flipper and we can go to this newer app called scripts and under scripts I'm just going to go up twice because that's where you could find it quickly it says windows xfail gshd.js so I'm just going to hit the button but you won't be able to see my screen just because it's kind of like a bad USB file. So, PowerShell should pop up in a couple seconds. And this one is kind of malicious, so this is for educational purposes only. Do not use this for any other uses. I did put a disclaimer in the front of the video, but just to make sure you guys know, I'm telling you again. So, any second now. That's not it. That's an older one. But is it under here? No. I don't know why it's not popping up, but usually there's something that pops up right here. It's the date, and then you could check for the time, and then you could tap on it, and it gives you all this information about Wi-Fi passwords and what the user is. It's just so, so crazy. So on your flipper, it should say, please wait until PowerShell is ejected or whatever that means but as you can see it already popped up so I am just going to on I'm just gonna close it out just because I could I wanna get on to the rest of the video and I hop right back I'm gonna hop right back over to flipper and if we just hit back and then we could go under where is it 
I'm looking for settings. Settings, here it is. And we can go to, I think it, yeah, it was desktop. And I can't do this because I do not have the, um, what's it called? The game module. But basically, under one of these things, where is it? I have to find a guy, sorry. Oh, no. Sorry, it's not under settings. It's under momentum. Then you're going to go to interface, graphics, and you can change it. I'm going to also change my asset packs to momentum. So once I change it to momentum, I can hit back, 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 back. Oh, I got mail. Oh, my flipper leveled up. But anyway, I'm going to just hit OK. So what I can do is now, see? Now it says momentum. So that's a pretty neat touch that I thought. And I think there is a way, if I'm not mistaken, if I go under momentum, interface, back to graphics, there's... Okay, so I have a couple other ones, Squatchware, Watchdogs. But yeah, basically, that's pretty cool. And so, if I go back, you can see that it's still that cool little symbol. I'd like to thank all the developers of Momentum just because this is a really cool project and I really like the idea of find my flipper so thank you to Matthew Kikowicz, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name and thank you to Willie JL and all the other developers that have helped make this project and I'm going to also as you can see I I'm going to post their discord so you can actually go check out Momentum. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!